guys and welcome back to my channel this is actually a super random video that i wasn't planning on filming but i actually just got back from um whole foods and i bought a bunch of goodies that i was gonna share individually on my instagram with you guys but i figured it's better to just film one video and have it all in one place so i'm just gonna go ahead and go through everything that i bought and show you guys all the the nummy 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 numbers that i bought and i'm gonna start with like the refrigerated stuff so that i can put it away so it doesn't go bad um so one thing that I want to, the first thing that I want to share is this yogurt, I, Forager, I believe. It's the Forager Project Dairy-Free Cashew Vanilla Organic Yogurt Alternative. That was a lot, girl, a lot. But okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been searching for a dairy-free yogurt. And I got some recommendations from you guys. I can't remember like if, if this is one of the ones that I got, but I also got a lot of feedback saying that there aren't any good yogurt, um, dairy-free yogurts out there. But actually this one is really really delicious um while i was at whole foods i came across a, a girl who works there and i asked her like if she had any recommendations for dairy free yogurts and she went got a spoon opened one up and let me try it and then let me eat it <laughs> it was delicious like it tastes better than greek yogurt because if you like greek yogurt and you eat it you know that it has kind of like a sour like aftertaste at least for me like in the back of your mouth and like it's whatever but this is so smooth and it's so delicious and this is what it looks like pumpkin on the go -gurt. okay it doesn't focus but are you serious it's delicious it's forager project dairy free cashew vanilla yogurt i got like six of these also i'm gonna be sharing these with lucas um since they are dairy free they're very safe for him i read the ingredients and they're fine he can eat them and he's already had the individual ingredients on your side and he doesn't have any allergies so that's gonna be for the both of us i got these little ones because they didn't have the big tub but next time i go um i'm gonna order just you know one or i'm gonna order i'm gonna buy the big tub as opposed to these little ones the next product I want to talk about is uh, also a yogurt that I bought. It's from Kite Hill and it's an artisan almond milk yogurt, but it is soy free and dairy free. So I'm excited to try it. I don't know why. Okay, there it is. Oh, girl. She also said that this one. Okay, my camera is not focusing. She also said that this one was very good. All of it on. I also got a hummus and it is a spinach artichoke hummus. And it's. I'm really excited to try it because it's a spinach artichoke flavored hummus, and I love, I love a spinach dip. And then I got this Go Veggie Classic Plain Cream Cheese Alternative, and it is vegan, so it is dairy free. Okay, well, I don't know what's up with my camera. So I also got two styles of cheese. I got cheddar and I got perobodone and I got it from the brand brands these two styles i got cheddar and i got provolone i love 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 cheese if you know me girl you know i love cheese my favorite food is cheese and carbs right she's ignoring me okay moving on i've tried these before and it's actually very delicious and they melt really like they melt like really like juicy and delicious i also got firm tofu Okay, well, ain't nobody got time for you to focus on the tofu. I also got this garden veggie burger meatless style um, frozen patties. It comes with four. And I'm excited to try these because um, I love cheeseburgers. I love cheeseburgers. And, and then I got some veggie sausage, some meatless veggie sausages. 
again I did I've tried a lot of these products already and they actually are pretty good I also have tried I don't know if you guys know the brand it's called Tofurky I think I'm saying that to Tofurky I don't know but it's like a like a meatless uh, deli deli meats like turkey and ham those were kind of nasty not gonna lie I got some pizza I'm like a foodie and I like to eat all the foodies. You know what I mean? Anyways, moving on. So, next. <gasps> I got avocados. But they're not from Mexico. They're from California. Okay, I got some kale. What is this? What the hell is this? Some kale combo. Micro greens. I kind of just I don't know what this is, but I just it look I I don't know. Okay. Seriously? I don't know what this is. I don't know what it is, but it looks really interesting to put in like a salad to make yourself. My memory card got full because I talk so much, so. Here we are. Anyways, moving on. I got some bananas. Some more bananas. And then I got, I've tried this before and it's really good. This is organic broccoli sprouts. This is um, really good for salads. Makes your salad nice and interesting. And I think maybe it would be good for pasta. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. I got some more avocados. Not from Mexico. We got some ginger up in the house. I got some Brussels sprouts. I was going to make a joke about these. But you guys wouldn't understand. Caro. I got some Brussels sprouts. Anyways. I got some baby carrots. Because they yummy. And I love baby carrots. I hate big carrots. Like, I can't eat a big carrot. It's a baby carrot. I can eat it. But, you know, I guess because I'm a baby. I got some turmeric. And then I got um, purple cabbage for my salads. Moving on. This is like record time, guys. Record time. Okay. Moving on. This is one of my favorite parts. If you know me, you know I love... I love sauce. I love I love sauce. I got some sauces. So I got some veganese, soul free. What's my head? Mayonnaise. I love that this is in a glass jar because I can reuse it when I'm done. This too. Well, most of these are glass jars. I got some the same from the same veganese brand, um, vegan Caesar dressing. Cause ain't nobody first my memory card gets full because I talk too much and now my timer dies because I'm unprepared. Like what the heck man? Oh, this impromptu video is turning into more of like a oh, work in progress. I don't know if you guys, if, it, if the camera died before I could get this, but this is vegan Caesar. I just ran up the stairs like three times. Anyway, so I got some Annie's organic ketchup and this is no artificial flavors included, no preservatives, no high fruit tours, corn syrup, gluten free and vegan. So I'm really excited to try that. And then I got some Annie's organic barbecue sauce on the same realm as the ketchup and all the other sauces really and then i got some this is i'm super i'm so excited i got chipotle lime mayo real mayonnaise made with avocado oil and it is soy and canola free cage free eggs and sugar free now this is not a vegan product but i'm not really like 100 percent vegan i'm trying to slowly you know substitute things that i use a lot for vegan products like you saw with the yogurt and the hummus and the mayo and all that stuff but girl this is chipotle lime mayonnaise i'm sorry to all of the eggs that i'm eating in that sauce but i love sauce and then i got a peanut coconut sauce i actually didn't even check if this was vegan but i got this uh because i well to eat with my spring rolls this is a really good the sauce is really good can you see it 
Um, I don't know if it's vegan, actually. Oh, it is. It says vegan right here. Look, I'm not lying. Can you see it? It's tiny, but it's right there. So, what a plus. What a pu 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 plus. We are almost done. Mm. And I also purchased four of these reusable bags. I actually have a bunch that I had bought at Publix on Earth Day. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know which ones I'm talking about. They're super adorable. But I left them at home. Of course I would. I got some Dave's Killer Bread Organic Bagels. I honestly... It says it has no high... Fructose corn syrup, but I feel like any form of bagel that you eat is gonna be fattening because bagel is such like a thick bread. But girl, I love me some bagels, and I'm gonna eat it with my vegan cream cheese. So, you know, give me a break. I got these two different teas, and this is the Allegro tea in rose tulsi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. You guys, I never pronounce anything right, so you know, shoot me, don't shoot me. But and then this chamomile tea. From the, 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 the from the Republic of Tea. This thing is not focusing. It's focusing on my ugly ass face in the back. And while I was at the while I was there, and right now I can smell it through the can. So that must mean it's good, right? I'm gonna go with yes. And then I got some sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, and I forgot what this was called. This is the seven bean barley blend, which is good for soups, apparently, my mom says, so. And I wanted to make this vegan chili that I found on my vegan 100 recipe book, and I think I want to use these. There's like a bunch of different colored lentils and beans, and it looks really fun. So I think this would actually be really good for chili. This camera's autofocus sucks. My God. Anyways, and then I got some Thai kitchen stir fry rice and noodles. I don't, you know, I was actually going back and forth in, am I gonna be a vegan or am I be a, I'm a, I'm a girl, I gotta speak. Am I going to be vegan or am I going to be pescatarian? I think is the way you say it, which is where you're mostly vegan, but you eat fish, cause Shrimp in my in my stir fry. You can't have a you can't have a Thai stir fry without shrimp. Well, you can. I just don't want to. So I got two of those, and then and then I got some daya daya diarrhea whatever delicious dairy free cheddar style deluxe cheesy mac. I got twenty of these. I'm just kidding. I got four packs of macaroni. Macaroni is one of my favorite foods, and I got. Vietnamese brown rice spring roll peva, which these are really good for spring rolls. You basically just stick this in water and wait for it to get like transparent looking. And then you can put like bean sprouts, you can put um, carrots, cucumber, the peanut sauce. Mm, 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 mm. It's actually really good. And maybe I can put my broccoli sprouts in there, you know? And then the last bag that I have is actually not food, but it's just some stuff that I picked up at Whole Foods. And I want to show it to you guys. Oh my god, this bag is heavy. So I got some, um... I got Mr. Adam Socks from the U.S. The Home for Algebra of Feet. You know? Can you hear me over there? Draw Feet I saw the other same sex for our dry feet because we have a dry feet now. She doesn't want to be in my video! I got some socks for our dry ass feet. And then I got this water bottle. 
I love water bottles. It's actually a, 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 a blender bottle. You can't see that. But it's a shaker and it comes with a little ball because I got some, uh, some, what? I got a water bottle, don't judge me. <laughs> it's for my protein shake. It's a little ball, you can shake it. No? You have two? Now we have three. Three is a better number. And look, and it has. I like to waste money. Alright, I'm gonna calm down. Calm down. Anyways, so I got some uh, um, lavender organic shaving soap. And you know, this is like vegan and all that good stuff, so it's good for the planet. And it's good for my legs. And bergamot plus lime natural deodorant helps neutralize odor and absorb wetness. It has no aluminum, no pro line blah, 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 and no artificial fragrance. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> Whatever. Cruelty free, vegan. We're slowly, slowly focusing. Focus, camera. Hello. <sighs> this freaking out of focus sucks. Okay, we're slowly converting. What me? Where? Who's where? Who, who? It's just me. To cruelty free products. So, also, also, I got two books for Lucas. One is called My Mom Is There, cause I am. And the wonderful things you will be, because my son is going to be an attorney, a doctor, a philanthropist, an engineer. Probably gonna work at NASA, and he's gonna be a humanitarian. You know, so all the wonderful things he'll be. He's gonna, he's not gonna have a lot of free time. No time for girlfriends. No social life. No drinking. No partying. None of that. Mm -mm. Not my kid. Mm -mm, girl. Mm -mm. Anyways, so then I got him some alfalfa. What? Al al <laughs> alfalfa. Al uh, feet. Girl, I got him some bubble bath. Okay. You know what? This is what it looks like. It's all over Whole Foods and Thrive Market. I got him this super cute uh, Burt's Bees Organics uh, ro uh, romper, one piece. I don't know, I love these. Uh, my son is pretty much always in like rompers because they're so comfortable and they're so cute. Why am I like this? Is that it? And then the rest, I kind of just got him his regular Earth's Best um, pureed jars. I didn't really get him. I got him new flavors. I got him pears and I got him this like um, Where is it? It's like a green. It is a zucchini broccoli medley Hopefully he likes it. He Hopefully he likes it. He really likes zucchini and broccoli. I don't know what medley means but it doesn't contain any milk. That's for sure. That's for sure, there's no dairy in this. The ones that do have dairy say uh, contains milk, but these don't. So that's a new one. I did get him pear. He likes pears, so he's never tried Earth's Best pears. He's tried the Gerber pears and he's seen, and you know, he liked them, so I don't see why he wouldn't like these, so. You know, he better like them. So that's it, and then, oh, and then I got him this comb and brush uh, set from Gentle Groom's Baby Hair. What? It says, okay, okay. It says on the bottom, adult use. What the heck? Okay, well you can't see it because my camera doesn't want to focus, but on the bottom it says adult use, but on top it says a baby brush. Oh, like adult use it on kids? What? What? Whatever, I got him these because the ones that he has, uh, he, uh, they're kind of broken because they suck. They're cheap. These are cheap too, but they're made out of bamboo, so I'm assuming they're going to last longer. Who knows? Maybe it's just marketing and I'm just wasting money. I love wasting money. Anyways, this is what it looks like. It's very soft. Ooh. So that's pretty much it. This is probably like a 15 minute video, 50, five, zero. It was impromptu, I didn't plan it. But it's probably long as hell anyways. So, you know, whatever. We're living life. 
We're doing it. Peace out, people. I'm done. Oh, I'm not done. Oh my god, I have one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Hold on. I'm vegan. I'm not vegan today. I'm vegan tomorrow. I'm vegan tomorrow. Okay. I am. I'm gonna eat a hot dog, okay? Because everybody knows diets start on Monday, and today is Sunday, and it's okay. And my watch is not working. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday. This is not the time to start a diet. So I want a hot dog. I want two hot dogs. I got ice cream. So I got these. They're so cute because it's called Nada Moo. Like no moo, like no cow, like no dairy, dairy free. You feel me? Here they are. I got vanilla and um, maple pecan. And it says mmm, maple, mmm, ma maple pecan. Like mmm, yummy, yummy in my tummy. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions on the stuff that I bought, let me know and I'll try my best to answer. And I'm also gonna be posting very soon a Thrive Market slash Grove Collaborative haul. I just, I placed an order on Thrive and then I placed another one, so I'm gonna wait till I get uh, all of it to uh, make a video. So look out for that, guys. Or don't, whatever. Love you. Bye.